On April 7, 2013, Attack on Titan took the world by storm. The series was a hit and a massive success. It dominated the Western anime fandom for months on end during its run, and it did what many thought was impossible in 2014. In 2014, Attack on Titan dethroned One Piece as the best-selling manga of that year. Attack on Titan sold 8 million 342,258 copies, with One Piece coming in at number 2, only selling a mere 4 million copies. One Piece, of course, being the king of manga, having been the best-selling manga in Japan since 2011 at the very least. One Piece's popularity is, to be quite frank, absolutely ridiculous. This only makes what Attack on Titan did in the year 2014 more incredible. Naruto and One Piece have been battling for that top spot for years, and yet Attack on Titan just came out of nowhere, surpassing it like crazy. It became a borderline mainstream hit in the West, with many non-anime fans watching the series. However, when Season 2 came out, there was very little discussion about it. It seemed to pass and go quite quietly. Obviously, due to Season one popularity, it didn't slip under the radar of the anime community completely, but it did certainly fly under the radar for the most part. It was a very quiet season, not causing quite a stir. All the attention was on the second season of My Hero Academia. So that begs the question, what went wrong? What turned Attack on Titan from a super mega hit into a show to gen generate much discussion in the anime fandom? I think two main things killed Attack on Titan's massive success that it had that made it into such a mega hit. First of all, it was the second season of My Hero Academia dominating the discussions of the anime fandom that year. At no fault of anybody working on Attack on Titan, it was simply overshadowed by My Hero Academia's amazing second season. The sports festival arc and the same fight were top of the discussion for months even after the season ended. My Hero Academia just took off and generated interest in a way Attack on Titan Season 2 could not. And I think this is entirely to blame on the long wait between Season 1 and Season 2 of Attack on Titan. Season 1 of Attack on Titan premiered in 2013 and began its adaptation of the Attack on Titan manga which had already been running for quite some time and it's already generated a small fan base. The series, as I stated earlier, became a mega hit, almost becoming mainstream in the West, a feat very few anime, even the likes of Naruto and One Piece, can achieve, and ended with an amazingly interesting cliffhanger. So why didn't all those fans come back for Season 2? The answer is quite obvious. The wait between Season 1 and Season 2 killed the interest in the series. Season 1 premiered in 2013, and season 2 didn't premiere until spring 2017. During that 4 year break, little to no information was released about season 2 up until very close to its release date. Some more hardcore fans did jump into the manga and those fans clearly and obviously returned for season 2. However, fans that didn't simply kept waiting and waiting. There were a few rumors a few times about the return, but it never went anywhere. During the four year hiatus between season 1 and season 2, we were given mega hits such as My Hero Academia season 1, and of course, One Punch Man. And most of all, Dragon Ball made its triumphant return in the form of Dragon Ball Super. With so many amazing options of amazing shows to watch like Kuno Suba, My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball Super, One Punch Man, and so on, it became quite prevalent that interest in Attack on Titan Season 2 was dying. And then it was announced. The reaction to this nuke was quite positive, with many discussing the new season and getting excited over it. However, then something happened. The new anime season began and people started watching things like My Hero Academia Season 2. And no one really talked about Attack on Titan. At least not in the same way people were talking about Season 1. It certainly didn't come close to touching My Hero Academia's title of show of the season. It didn't even win a single award at the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. It's not that Season 2 wasn't good, it's that the interest from the fanbase just wasn't there like it was 
was in 2013. With the lack of information between the two seasons, fans were simply waiting and waiting for a season 2 until they eventually just stopped caring. The non-anime fans that had been so into Attack on Titan while it was airing dubbed on television simply had lost interest if not forgotten about the show entirely and moved on with their lives. At some point during that four year period where we had almost little to no information on the season, people just stopped caring about the show the way they used to in 2013. Personally, I was a big fan of Attack on Titan Season 1 while it was airing in 2013. However, when I sat down last year to watch the first episode of Season 2, I found myself bored and uninterested. I was far more interested in the second season of My Hero Academia that would be airing, continuing from where the last season had left off the year prior. My hype from the previous year was still there. I was still invested in this series a year later. However, I could not tell you I was still invested in Attack on Titan four years later. I watched until episode 2 where I decided to drop the series entirely. I was simply uninterested in the story and was not invested in the characters or the narrative anymore. Any plot points that I was severely interested in, I could get the information from the manga. The interest and investment just wasn't there anymore. And I think it's safe to say that for many people, what killed Attack on Titan was that four year wait. By the time it returned, everybody had simply moved on to other shows. Yes, of course, there was still a core fan base there that cared, but a large majority of the casual fans and rest of the community had moved on to other shows, namely My Hero Academia, but with a talking point of last year. I don't think Attack on Titan is a bad show, and I don't think anything in the show itself killed it and stopped it from continuing to be a super mega hit like it was in 2013. The manga still sells really well after all. That fan base is still there, but it just hadn't generated the same insane popularity that it did back then that allowed it to outbeat One Piece. And as I stated earlier, the four year wait is clearly the reason for this. It is quite unfortunate because Attack on Titan deserves the popularity it had in 2013 but the interest just isn't there anymore, and it is quite sad that Madhouse wasn't able to get season 2 sooner. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, and tell me your thoughts on Attack on Titan Season 2 in the comment section down below, and whether or not you will be watching Attack on Titan Season 3 this year. Subscribe for more videos like this one, and have a great day.